Well, what kind of current do we have? We have a we have current that uh, that does not change with time. It doesn't change with time. That's right. It's sort of like a constant. Wow. Not sort of like a constant. It is a constant. <laughs> we have a name for this kind of current. Current that doesn't change with time is called DC. Direct current. Direct current. Direct current. Oh. Well, we have another kind of current. And we said direct current is remains is a is an entity that stays uh, constant with time. I'm sorry, what did I say? It stays constant with time. So direct current <coughs> stays constant with time. Stays constant with time. With time. And a constant looks like a flat line. Doesn't it look like a flat line? Like if you've got, like, here's a graph and here's three. That's a constant. Well, okay, it's my best attempt at a constant. Let's try that again. Oh, oh that wasn't that much better. That's a horizontal line. It's got no slope. No slope on it. Or a slope of zero. I shouldn't say it has no slope. The slope is zero. It's not changing with time. So M equals zero. It's a constant. DC current. DC current. All right. Good enough. I don't want to beat that subject to death. Now, we usually use the symbol I to represent that kind of current. Constant current. Now, there's an another symbol that's used for varying current. That's constant current. Constant current. And then varying current is usually represented by lowercase i. This is varying constant. Uh, varying current. Time varying current. Yes, varying current. What does it vary with? It varies with time. So we call it time varying constant, uh, current. There we go. Time. It's a time. Time varying current is referred to with the letter I. Um, and uh, so, what do you call this thing? We call this kind of time varying current. We call it AC. AC current. And how does it vary? It varies in this way. Like, let's say you've got yourself a uh, go like this. There's your graph. And this guy goes, oh, but is, you know, try and do this. He goes up. And then it's going to change direction. Go this way. Goes up. And changes direction, goes the opposite direction. Then it changes direction, goes the opposite direction. Up, and then down. Up, and down. And we call that sinusoidal current because it looks like a sinusoid, uh, looks like a sine wave. So it's called what? Sinusoidal current because it looks like a sine wave. Wow. And so you could say that it not only varies with time, varies with time. But if you wanted to be really specific, you could say how it varies with time. It sinusoidally varies with time. That's our guy. He sinusoidally varies with time. Huh. That's AC. Huh. 
Okay, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. This is George Bull. Saying, bye-bye.